more than anybody has. He's bigger than any mountain. Praise God. Oh, yes. Lift it up your heads. Amen. Be you lifted up, you everlasting gates. And the glory of the Lord shall come in. Oh, let's let the glory come in today. Let's open up the portal of heaven today. How do we do that? The Bible says, God will stand in the the praises of Israel. Amen. Let's praise Him today. All you sound good to our men to go. And I know you've got victory in your soul today. Praise God. Brother Jim, your sister, this man. Look at this girl. Praise God. Hallelujah. It's been a long time. It's been too long. But thank God she's back here on the front row. Oh man, God is blessing her. Thank you for your prayers. Brother Bill had his he's out last week with his family. All those buttons that thing off and now he's up right here in that deep dog. Praise God. God trust him. He is a man moving in his life. This is the glory of this right here. Bye bye. Oh, she listened to the doctors and all the, you know, uh, Prognosis, she's probably getting out of the bed at home. But she's listening to the Word of God, right? Amen. Amen. She is healed. Moving out to the glory of God. Hallelujah. Our feeding ministry had probably a record attendance yesterday for people. Had over 60 people came and were provided with food and uh, prayer and all these great things. Sister Carol shared with me some. And I think uh, Sister Tracy, she's had a good experience with uh, some that came in and they prayed for the, in the times past, and now they're coming back and they don't even recognize them. They look, they're looking good. They're cleaned up. They've got victory in their hearts. And so, praise God. You know, God makes a difference in your life, doesn't he? Amen. He makes a good difference. They used to sing the song, What a difference you made it. Amen. And we can sing that to Jesus, couldn't we? That makes a good Christian song right there. What a difference you've made. Let's lift our hands in this loving way. Father, we love you. We praise you. Thank you, God, for every man, every woman, every boy and girl who's in the house of God today. Father, we love you. We so desire you, God, to touch and bless right here this service in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Starting all this month, this is the first Sunday of the month, and uh, because of Easter, it's going to be just in two weeks from today, we're going to wait and have communion. It's our regular communion day. But I wanted to start a little something. Uh, on the first Sunday of the month, I want to sing happy birthday to everybody that will have a birthday in the month of April. Praise God. I know right here's the one that's having a birthday tomorrow. Amen. Praise God. David's having a birthday tomorrow. And I think Sister Donna Austin had a birthday a day or two ago. I seen that on Facebook, I think. But uh, everybody else sat down, but anybody's got a birthday in the month of April, just for my standing with you. And if you've got an anniversary in the month of April, go ahead and stand up too, okay? Praise God. Looky here, looky here. One, two, three. Praise God. All right, let's say happy birthday to them. Anybody got an anniversary? Oh, look here. You're supposed to be standing up, girl. Stand up, you got an anniversary. Make that, make that boyfriend stand up with you today. Praise God. Hey, man.
down the wind there.
Would you lift your hands towards heaven as we bless this offering? Father, we willingly and freely give unto thee. God, we know that no way can we buy any kind of blessing from you. But we can be obedient. We can do what the Word of God says. To give and it shall be given unto us. Good man to press down, shake it together, run it over. No longer is it money, but now it's seed, seed sown in the kingdom of God. Father, when seed is sown, it always brings forth a harvest. Father, we just pray that you'll bring forth a 30, 60, a hundredfold harvest in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. So good to see Brother Gary back here, Gary Lewis. His precious mother passed away this past week. We had her service Friday night and then a graveside service yesterday. But you know, I, I was had the privilege. I did visit with her in the hospital a few months ago. I don't know exactly when it was, but I was. I said, "Well, I'm gonna go in there and be a blessing to her." I went in there and wasn't just a minute or two that I seen that God sent me in there to get a blessing. Because she was so full of God, so full of the Holy Spirit, and she just loved the Lord. It was just amazing. You know, now, you know, she was praising God and believing that God was going to take care of her. And He sure has, sure did, sure will. You know, there was a 90 year old minister. There was, I think, three different ministers that ministered. There was one who was 90 years young. And man, he got up and he just preached. I mean, he preached. He, God just blessed him and used him. And toward the end of the service, he, he said, I, you know, he'd break out in tears sometimes and then he would preach with a good, strong voice. And get through it, God will have to help me. He broke out in psalm singing, I think. Peace in the valley. There'll be peace in the valley. And you know, he didn't ask anybody to sing with him. He didn't ask anybody to stand up. But this, a bar or two in that song, somebody over here started singing with him. And it just began to flow all the way through that service. Praise God. Everybody just stood. Whole, whole congregation. There was probably at least 200 people that looked like it was a big full house. But you know, God just came down. Amen. But Gary, we're praying for you, my friend. Had a precious mother. Heaven's sweeter now because of that. Got more to go to heaven for than we had yesterday. God. So good to look back. See David, Sabrina come in. David at a funeral. His brother passed away just a few weeks ago. Man. Good to have him to bring the witness today. Praise God. John, Lisa, good to see you guys. Praise God. Tracy, good to see you later. Praise God. Brother Troy, Kathy, Jimmy, Joe, Hallelujah, Cassie. And her friend, I haven't got her name memorized yet. She's a beautiful young girl. Loves the Lord. Let's tell you if you would sing a little bit of that old song, Peace, Peace, Wonderful Peace. How many needs the peace of God, the touch of God in your life today? David Jackson's going to minister to me. He's going to minister the Word of God for us today. But let's stand. Maybe you haven't got to see our new prayer altars. Maybe you haven't been here since we put up the old rugged cross. But you know it all begins at the foot of the cross. And any time during the service, if you feel the touch of the Holy Spirit, you want to come up here and pray, that's, that's what it's all about. It's a place to call upon God. You will never be out of place going near to God. But Jamie's going to say, let's stay with her, okay? Praise God.
just talk to the Lord right now. Let's just say, God, I'm yours. God, I'm yours. I'm yours, God. Amen. He that knew no sin became sin that we may be made the righteousness of God. Oh, what a gift. What a gift God has given us. What a time of the year. What a resurrection celebration that this whole world is beginning to undergo, especially here in these Northeast Tennessee hills. Praise God. Oh, thank God. Amen. Those little daffodils and that raised their head up, blooming out, yelling. Some of them got frostbitten, drooped their head a little bit, and some of those pansies started showing off. Amen.
much as far through a little bit because he 